Guys, I'm getting ready, uh, getting ready to go out digging at the local dump, me and David here on our last day out, and then we're gonna head up to the eastern shore tomorrow. Um, if you guys seen my video, you know I forgot my metal detector at home. So David's got a uh, older bounty hunter that I'm trying out. And I just, we've been pulling up aluminum out of his yard, but I just hit a, what's, it was showing as a 25 cent signal. Ooh, look at that. Now it's showing as a 10 cent, but let's see what it is. I think it's a coin. We got a coin in the, in the Right there, it's a coin. Right there. Yeah, look at that, guys. Coin in the hole for the bounty hunter. It's a Lincoln. Dang, it was showing as a 10 cent piece. But Pulled it up, though. It did find it. Yeah. I've scanned over this with my Garrett, I don't know how many times. What's up? 69. Nice. 1969. Penny. I'm not so sure that's what that was, though. Check it again. It might be a little spill. Yeah, I think we got a little spill. Let's see it. Oh, man. We got a 1969 coin spill, possibly. It's out. There it is. Is it another coin? Another coin. Oh, yeah! <laughs> We got a little spill in David's yard, guys. What the heck? What's that one? Another penny? It's a wheat. Ooh, a weedy. Nice. A weedy. Heck yeah, brother. There you go. The bounty hunter getting it done. I'm talking about an impressive little machine. That one is a 40-something. There we go. 49. Nice. So we got a 49 and a 69 in the same hole, guys. <laughs> I'm still not convinced that's what it was, though. I'm still not convinced. Yeah, there's more. There's more. We got a little spiller. Good heck. Yeah, we got a little spiller. <laughs> <laughs> Good start to the new video. Oh, it's out. Where is it? Is that what it's it is? A foil. Piece of foil. Mm -hmm. Dang. <clears throat> I still. Oh, yeah, let me hit it with the detector real quick. See if that was it. Yep, that was it. Dang, that was cool though. 49 <laughs> weedy. Sweet. Nice. Little, little penny spill. Alright guys, we're going to mess around and play around a little bit longer and then we're going to go digging. Guys, we're still See going that. around David's yard with the old bounty hunter. And it is uh, discriminating between aluminum and coins. This one's saying 10 cents. Uh, let's see if it's right. I found a mercury dime about two feet to your right. You did? Right there, oh, man. How much? Is that it? Oh, good golly. So many of these little aluminum yeah. tabs. That's what it is, I'm pretty sure. Shoot. Yep. I think it was sounding good too. It likes aluminum. It, it does. does like aluminum. All right, guys, that one was not a good one, but we're gonna keep trying. See you back. All right, guys, out here digging a local dump with David. Bottle in the hole right there. I'm just working on the other side of him down a little bit deeper layer. He's about the two foot mark, two and a half. Nice big square nail there. Yeah. Is that a square nail? Or a bolt? Yeah, some kind of a bolt. What is that? Uh -huh. Is that milk? Here it comes. No, little condiment. Just a jar. 
really screw top jar. Yeah. Very 30s. Mm-hmm. 1930s on that one. And you're just now getting down into the ash layer. Yeah. I'm a little bit deeper down below, guys, but there you go. First bottle out of the hole. The Five, condiment jar. 572-3, whatever that is. And it's a, yeah. It's a little simple screw top condiment jar. Yeah. Very good. All right, cool. We're going to keep working at it, guys. Hopefully some more stuff comes out. See you back. Guys, David's got a big, big bottle in the hole. Looks like just the bottom showing so far. Go ahead and see what that thing is. Big kick up in it. I don't think it's a champagne. It's big. It big. might be like a demi John or something. Be oh, careful. Shit. Look at that thing. That's that's too big to be a champagne bottle, it David. Is. It's either a big whiskey or a demi. It's got a really crude kick up in it. See that? It looks almost pawnal. Almost. I think I might see iron pond one day. Oh, it's solid. Good. Good deal. Guys, David might have something absolutely incredible in the hole. It's not a Ritter's. It's not a Ritter's, and it is it's too big to be a champagne i'm telling you it's either a whisk big whiskey bottle or demijohn i'm leaning more towards demijohn as big as that thing is oh. careful brother yeah just take your time on it david yeah, man. i wouldn't try to pull on it at all until it's ready to rock out of the hole it's got a big piece of melted iron slag on top of it. Let's see if I can go under it, let it drop. What do you guys think it is? Comment down below. Oh man, yes. it's ready almost. Here it comes guys. What is that? Look at that. Oh my goodness. It's embossed. Yes. What? What is that? Oh, it's a Benedictine. Benedictine. That's a bitters. That's a real nice one, man. Sweet. Look at that. What the heck? Nice. I think it is Pondle. That's a pretty green. Man, that's a pretty green. Nice, David. That top is completely got one little ding in the in the uh, rim there, but that's it. It's just yeah, it's nice looking bottle there, bro. Benedictine. Yep, Benedictine. Look at that. Sweet. Big old stretch marks in the neck and tool top. Is that an applied? I applied think it is applied. Right? Yeah. yeah. I don't see any mold lines or nothing. That's a seal or just a horseshoe? They use that for a seal. Yeah. Oh man, that's a nice bottle there, David, brother. I think it's Pondle. It looks awful rough in there. Yeah, it does. Here, check it out. What do you guys think on that? It sure looks like a kind of like a sand Pondle almost. Oh, it's embossed down here too. Two fifty-three. It says on it. 253 that's a beauty right there got a color on that thing guys nice david wow heck yeah brother man Woo. there you go been a long time coming finally yeah good bottle right there nice whittling on it it's, looks almost looks turned but it's whittled i think it is turned okay. I, don't, I can't tell there's no mold lines uh-uh yeah. So it's got to be turned. Benedictine. Yeah, it's turned I've, mold. I've seen these, but I've never dug one. I think that's like 70s, 80s. It's a nice early wow. one. There you go, guys. Finally getting into some decent stuff. Heck yeah. See you back.
All right, guys, you can see I'm down about five feet. Some kind of plastic chair in the hole. Just a bunch of modern stuff at the moment. David's up above me, working a little higher layer. And uh, says he's got a little pocket here. Okay, so we've got real pretty. Some Japanese pottery, mm -hmm. painted pottery. Really crazed. Iron stone plate. Yeah. And we got something in the hole here. I'm calling a ritter. You're going to call it a ritter? Yep. You are, aren't you? Yep. I'm afraid it might be. And if it is, it's whole. Yeah, oh yeah. Sure, mint condition. Mint. <laughs> yeah, good call. Yeah, it is, guys. <laughs> PJ Ritter sauce bottle from Philly. Yep. Nice job. Well, What's we're going to keep working at it and get something here. else. What is that? What's that? Ooh, that's a piece of another sauce. Oh, wait a second. This is uh, pure beverages. Oh, this is a beverage out of Lancaster. Okay. Yeah. It could have been one of those star beverages with a star on it. Yeah. Because they're paneled like that. Could have been. All right, guys. Yeah. David's getting into a couple little things in there. Got a little layer here. Piece of bone, joint bone. Yeah, joint bone. That's the top of the wire. Yeah, it looks nice and trashy right there. Trashy layer. I think you're gonna get something good. Yeah, I feel it. Probably hepatitis. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I, I yeah. think it's getting ready to pour down rain on us. Yeah, well, there's the bottom. It's starting to get the wind's picking up a little bit. Machine made. All right, I'm gonna jump back in my hole and man, hopefully some some more fools come out. Just yeah, that one, that soda. All right, guys. Alrighty. See you back. All right, guys. That's going to do it for uh trip down here to David's. It's getting dark on us. You can see I'm way back in there. You can't even see where I ended at. I was using headlight about six feet down under the ground. Not a whole lot to show for today, though. A bunch of broken milks came out. My best one's probably this little tiny blown in mold little dental bottle or something I got a little extract bottle or druggist slick little tiny blood vial piece of slag somewhere down in my bucket broken art decos broken cruet there's a hires another broken little extract or druggist bottle you can see some champagnes and drinking mugs and there was a decent amount of glass come out i did save a few uh pretty shards i got quite a few pieces of uranium glass i got a nice top in there to make for a marble stand and then this real pretty piece of glass here i'll save <laughs> And then I think David stole the show. There's my sec, my first hole I did. I had two monster holes. <laughs> David will be able to continue pretty nice when he comes back. But I think he stole the show today, guys. Check it out. He was working right here. And we actually connected our holes, but yeah, you can, can kind of see down in the hole down there. His side collapsed. So he's got a little bit of work to do, but That's your mug. almost a full saloon mug couple pj ritters yeah some nice earlier stuff come out That's nice what the heck was that yeah, it's a... something design, design patent. patent some kind of big whiskey yeah, or something some really pretty pressed glass here look at this oh, this is cut glass this is even nicer look at this yeah it is yeah. cut glass little yeah. dishes mason jars you got an easy bright stove polish oh yeah a lot of broken milks where's the benedictine over here oh she's in the, in the barrel in the barrel in the barrel there. So, yep there it is guys there's the find of the day right there beautiful 
green. It says to the eye. No, it's a just T? like a cross. Or a cross, yeah. It's just like a cross. It probably has one on this side too. Yeah. Does it have one on that yep. side too? Mm -hmm. Oh, neat. So there you go, guys. There's the find of the day right there. David, good job, brother. There you go. And two pennies uh, metal detector <laughs> earlier. All right, guys. There you go. Heck yeah. All right. See you back. Guys, what is up? Check it out. Me and William's son out here on the uh, eastern shore up on Tillman Island. And we let me flip you around and show you Literally what we're doing. We just walked down the uh, street a little ways and scored this permission right here. You can see there's a di addition on it, but the front part we're thinking is 70s, 80s, 90s, something like that, late 1800s. And the guy said a, uh, was it a mortician? Yeah, the Undertaker. The, the Undertaker island. for the island used to live right there, guys. The guy, Kyle, that owns the property now, real cool guy, came out. We talked to him for a minute. He said, yeah, go ahead. He's kind of interested to see yeah. if we find anything, too. He's been trying to look up the history on his own. So we came so. back here. Luckily, the shed is a little closer. We came back here in the backyard and check it out. I'm going to give Will the camera. I want to show you this. We got a big, big wood liner probed out. We got a wall here. Here's a corner going up under this. And then let's try to find the other one. I think it's a wood liner too. Most of them out here are, so. But look how, look how light that is going <laughs> in. Butter. I think that might've been a wall, let me see. Back up a little bit. Jeez. Yeah, somewhere in there's a wall. Going they could have collapsed. I think it's like right here. But yeah, we got a decent, looks like about a four by four wood liner here. And there's probably going to be more, but this is just the first one we found. Yeah, there's wall there. And it does eat the whole probe, so it seems fairly deep. There's the other wall there. So you guys can see what we're working with there. There's the square. Wall, 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 wall. We're gonna start opening this puppy dog up. Check this out. There's a clay cap right there, I think. <laughs> that far down? Dang. Might be bottom. Yeah, I think that's bottom there. So we're looking at about four and a half feet. Looks like it's got some good material in it. So we're gonna start opening this up, guys. And there's probably gonna be more right along the same line. See you back when the action starts. Let's get it. Guys, we're just now starting to get this bad boy opened up, maybe about four or five inches down. <clears throat> Those of you that follow me on Facebook, seen that I broke my brand new birthday present shovel two days after using it. So here's my brand new one the wife just got me as a replacement. My brother man, Matt McBottle said, he thinks this is the best one to get. So we got a Fiskars, solid steel. Unfortunately, as you can see, it's still made in China, but heavy duty, all steel construction. We'll see how she does. And then right here, guys, bottle in the hole. Yeah. Already right off the bat. Dang, that was going for two minutes. Yeah, two minutes. Right here, in the, just getting started. I haven't even got down to the clay cap yet. Let's see what it is. No, it's not. It's either oh, soda yeah. or sauce. I think it might be a sauce bottle. I'm not sure just yet. I think it's going to be a good pit, though. That's right on the top, yeah. Looks like maybe a little sauce condiment jar, like a McCormick. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, probably 1930s anyway. Not dirty glass. It's got a three on the base of it. So that's right off the bat, guys. 1930s little condiment jar. Nice. And we are just getting started. Heck yes. <laughs> guys, it's so hot. We're taking cold showers in between digging. Oh, it's getting ice cold. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, come on. Hey, we're about a foot and a half down. Still in the clay cap, it seems like, but it's still going. But, man, it is, it's ungodly hot. So, yeah, we're just going to try to stay cooled off the best that we can and keep digging. All right, guys. So, this one wasn't a privy. It ended up being a little trash pit. One bottle came out, a little condiment jar, and some broken, blown, and mold stuff, but... A lot of metal stuff coming out. You can see there's like a cl old claw foot off of like a bathtub or a stove. Big pieces of iron you can still see in the wall, right on the edge of the wall. Big pieces of burn stuff. I don't know. Just a little trash pit. Went down about four feet. And just not much glass in it. So we're going to fill this one. I got another one right there. We're going to probably open up here in a little bit. We're going to go play in the water for a bit. You said uh, low tide? Yeah, it's 12, 12.45, so we got like another, but it'll start, it's gonna get continually lower up until then. So about in an hour is low tide, and we're gonna go out on the bay and see if we can find some stuff in the water. And They definitely did some privy dip or something. But there. check it out. Trash pit, one bottle so yeah. far, right there. I think this next one right here is gonna be a lot better to us though. Stay tuned for that. But all right, we're gonna fill this one. All right, guys, see it that? is just, ridiculously humid today so oh that is an older jar nice that was a lightning yeah yeah that was a lightning yep. fruit jar we're just out here in the woods because i mean privies is just so hot today and the guy said pretty much we can come back anytime we want so maybe tomorrow we'll go out there and knock out another one but we're out here in the woods right around the area where that ruth squat soda um, I can't remember what else. Oh, yeah, the open pond pea bab that was in pieces. Blob. Multiple blobs, yep. Definitely. So we're out here in the woods anyway, and I, I seen all this glass laying around. I guess from the storm that uncovered it. There's a big pile right here. You can see there's fence, and I, I, I brought the probe. I put the probe, and there's a lot of glass. So we're just going to clean this mound out and see what we can find and mess around in here and see if we can find any more older stuff. So that's the plan. It's a little bit shadier in the nice. woods here and cooler. So that's what we're going to do the remainder of the evening. All right. See you All back. Right, guys. So on the surface, it looks like about 30s, 40s. There's a real fancy kind of Art Deco looking whiskey or something in the hole. Yeah. I don't see any embossing except the... Uh... It's fancy. What's yeah. that thing, Will? What's that right there? That copper thing. This? Yeah. yeah. Gasket? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's an old copper gasket. gasket. Copper gasket. That's yep. cool. Put that in my bucket. But look down in here, guys. Screw top. There's tons of glass in here. It doesn't seem to be super old at the moment, but a lot of whiskeys you can see here. Yeah. Tons of whiskeys down in the ground. Look at them. People drink their drink their death. There might be something older in here, maybe a sign or something. I don't know. We're gonna just open it up and see what we can find. Guys, check it out. Will abandoned me because the this little pit dump is a little bit too modern. But I mean it's like 1930s, 40s. Look at all the stuff coming out. Lots and lots of whiskey bottles, federal law for bids. I got a few embossed ones. I got an REM, which I'm pretty sure is a Remington gun oil i got a mrs stewart's bluing and an acid amber and acid and i believe these are a poison larvex i think they were this one's not embossed but i think it was a big poison bottle like a like a insecticide kind of thing so i'm over here just working around it, it's not very deep but check this out real cool lock i don't know if i'll be able to salvage anything off of that one or not but it is a lock there we go 
padlock or railroad, something like that. I don't know. It's cool, though. We're going to keep messing around. I think this pit goes all the way up against that tree. All right. See you back. Yeah, that's a good one. There it goes. It's coming up. <laughs> it's cool as crap. <laughs> yes, that is so awesome. All right, I got one, only one more of those. You want me to do that again? Or? Look at it, it's still burning in the water. It's still hot. Now it's sinking. What's up guys? Creek Diggers coming to you Thursday morning. We are out here on the Undertaker permission, getting ready to open up this big wood liner. And then there's another stone liner I got probed out right in front of that bush right there, right off the back of the addition off the porch. Big stone liner. So we're gonna save that one for last. This one is absolutely loaded full of ash. It feels like it's gonna be a good one. <clears throat> that one right there actually ended up being just a trash pit had one bottle in it which we gave to the owner kyle he was real happy with it so that was real cool but it had just a lot of melted iron and weird stuff in it and it only went down about five feet not 
no glass just that one bottle was weird it did have one blown in mold like broken top but anyway we're gonna open this one up right here off the corner of the shed and you can see a sink already right there but it's big it's pretty big it's probably about a five by five maybe six we're gonna open this one up and see what's in it stay tuned for the action guys me trav will will be joining us here shortly here we Russell go. Wright, guys, check him out. Out here with us today, he's been allowing us to stay at his house all all week, pretty much. We're in the auction off his back porch last night. Front porch, one of the porches. Trap Jr.'s over here dousing himself in water. It is another hot one, but I'm a little bit better, uh, better prepped. What was that? It boy? was just a freaking it was oh. a ball of dirt shaped exactly like a marble. But we're out here working, tackling this wood liner, and... Uh, there's something strange down in the hole, guys. I don't know exactly what it is, but look what we just uncovered about three foot mark. What? See that, Trav, bud? It's a shoe. It's a... No, that ain't a shoe. It's like Give me half a... carpet or, and this, now, guys, this is the Undertaker's house that ran this island. So what in the world do you think that could be down there? Well, he didn't run the island, he ran the the mortuary, for the, the mortuary for the island that's what i mean the only one he was the undertaker for the island yeah you turd i think the mortuary is next door next door was the mortuary see so, so that's that's even more that's interesting so they just wheeled the bodies next door so <laughs> i don't know what's going to be in here guys but i always want to document everything because it could be like an archaeology archaeological discovery and i just want to see so we're gonna uncover this a little bit more and we'll see you right back. Check it out, guys. It's big, whatever it is, it's big. It's like a whole entire sleeping bag or carpet. I'm gonna hand the phone to my son. Trav, just keep it right on there. We're gonna try to get that thing out of the hole. I don't know. What do you guys think's in there? Well, that dead very body. strange. Trav, bud. <laughs> Trav says a dead body, guys. <laughs> I mean, we are on Undertaker for this. Yeah, okay, from different layers. I'm gonna so go in this way. All right. Pretty oh, much good. Yeah, we need to cut this side down here. Let me work on that. Are you, here, Will, use my shovel. Kick down through all them roots right there. Yeah, you pop on it one time. There you go. Get mad at it, boy. That's the new shovel, guys, right there, the Fiskers. <sighs> Oh, that didn't pull out like I would hope it. So and Will's going to be the one to break it. You think so? Yep. It's got a lifetime warranty. So. Yeah, lifetime warranty. Yeah. I don't it is made that. in China. Watch what you're filming, buddy. Remember? I'm filming him. Taking a thing. Yeah, show that bad boy shovel going down. Oh. It's sliding off the root. Look. There it is. You got a good bite on it that time. Yeah. We can cut this one. Yeah, we can. Watch out, Rick. What do you guys think that is down there? Just some trash somebody threw in a hole long ago. A dead body. <laughs> there you go, William. Son, nice. Very nice. All right. Let's see yeah, if we can. It? Let's see if we can get that thing up out of here. Dang, how far does it go? Let me go under there. Uh, yeah. There you go. It's like a blanket. <clears throat> a dead body. It looks like so a far, coat it, there. There's something underneath of that too. Look at all that stuff in there. What in the world, guys? Pull that up your way. That's like a... That's, that's a moving blanket. That's a coat or something. No, this is a move. Um, like oh, a, my goodness. A moving... Uh, yeah, we oh, still need to uncover nowhere. that. Lay that back down there. We're going to dig. We got to dig all that out, guys, in front of it and get more un they uncovered. Not see where you we'll see you it. back. Click the button. Try. Oh, he's good. Guys, I thought I was going to have to call the daggum police because we started opening up this tarp and blanket and bones started coming out. Lots and lots of bones. Look over here on the tarp. All wrapped up. Yeah, all wrapped up. I was like, oh my gosh, man. They might be human. But the determining factor 
after all the bones came out was a little bit of fur and then that canine tooth. Yeah, they're not human. Not human, thankfully, but man, yeah, it is a body down there. There's a jawbone right there. So we'll give him a proper burial at the bottom of the pit. He was only like two feet deep. We'll keep all the bones and we'll rebury Poncho here in the Poncho. We're gonna keep on digging, guys. We think it's a privy that they threw a dog in long ago. See you back. All right, guys, so it didn't end up being a privy. I probed down after we got Poncho out and uh, there was just nothing under there. There was like a little wooden box he was in. There was pieces of wood coming out right here. You can see pieces of his old box. There was little wood that somebody had made a cross out of. So I laid all the bones out real nice, put the cross back together, set it on there with his crim, whatever it's called, cremations, and uh, dug it a little deeper. We're gonna put him down in there and then put the blanket back over top of him and he's gonna go back to sleep. We're gonna fill this one in and then go dig that big stone liner. So rest in peace, Poncho. See you back. Hey guys, this is the one we've been after. This is the big stone liner here. It's not real, real wide. Check it out. Here's a corner. Here's a corner. Right there where my probe is is the other corner. And then you can kind of see the line there. Just right here. However, at the bottom of the probe, which you can lightly push it down. Not right there in the corner. Yeah, in the middle. In the middle of it. There you go. Real... I said lightly. I just fell. <laughs> oh my gosh. But anyway, guys, that's how to not probe it. Guys, brother man Russell just got his first official find in the ground. Check him out. Nice pair of shades for the brother man on a hot sunny day. Yes, sir. <laughs> There's a lot of metal and stuff sticking out. Check this out. A lot of metal and stuff sticking out. There's some kind of weird wall running down through here. We don't know exactly what's going on, but Thanks. it eats the probe clean out. That may be like a retain, old retaining wall or something. I don't know. But anyway, we're just going to keep digging. All see right, guys. We're sitting right outside the privy hole. You can see it's almost like a granite wall or something going down. It's like super fancy stone. I thought it was cinder block. We thought it was cinder block at first. But it's like, I don't know. Is it oh, down? wow, look at that. There's a void or something. Yeah, there is. Not good. There's water in it, too. That might be some. That's craziness. That ain't nothing. What are you talking about? <laughs> we just busted. Block. We're actually just busting through this, like, two and a half foot clay cap. Starting to get ash and stuff coming up. My son's like, Daddy, a coin. I know all you guys are going to be like, oh, I staged it. <laughs> but Will was just literally sitting here watching him and. I was like, ah, oh, it's right be there, modern, guys. But it might be modern. I don't you know. You never know. Let's see what it is. Right there, laying on the walk. What is that, Trev, bud? Mm -hmm. It's a dime. Can you tell the year? Could be silver. It's a dime. Can't make out the year. It does kind of look silver, though. It's awful shiny. Uh, grab one. No, no it's 2000. Uh, that's what I thought sitting on the side. 2004. There you go, buddy. Oh, you 10 cents, though. Sure. That boy's always finding coins everywhere. 2004 dime. That's better than what we found so far. So now, at the point where we're taking turns, we're down about three and a half, four feet. Yeah, We've opened up three of the four walls you can see right there. Just very strange, like granite, granite walls almost. I don't know about I it. I thought it was cinder block, but here. You open it up. Yeah, we busted like, like a chunk some kind out of it. Dark stone. Look at that. And I thought that I think that's just a little crack. I don't know what that There's is. Water in there. Yeah, that's weird. It's not like if it is cinder block, it's not normal. Yeah, it's strange, guys. Strange looking stuff. I don't know, but we're gonna just keep digging. That's all you can do. See you back. Guys, I I'm just dumbfounded on this one. We got down five and a half feet. And we started pulling these plastic sanitary bags in. Uh, Beth uh, looked it up, Will's mom, and they were like for poop. They were like for diseases. They were like for, waste. yeah, biological waste. 
just I don't know. I'm unsure on and you this. You can still see it coming out. It's like almost six feet down. Yeah, there. six Look feet that. down and still that plastic bag waste stuff. I did hit bottom at six feet. There's still wall this way, but I've seen enough. Yeah. We're gonna fill this thing. It's just a very strange, I thought it was like a strange <laughs> design. It did end up being cinder block. Look at it all the way down and it is walled it's got four walls you can see here so just that's a cinder block yeah no mistaken it i just don't know guys comment down below if you've ever seen anything like that in your life no clue but we're gonna fill it move on to the next see you back for my son guys playing in the sprinkler <laughs> he loves it we're working on a wood liner right there Will's just opening it up. Lots of uh, oyster shells and Some of the pieces of wood night. and stuff. <laughs> and then another one we got probed out right here. It's pretty deep. Sucked the whole probe down like butter. Big stone liner right here. So two more to go for the evening. And then I think we're going to take a little kayak trip. Just, there was a big storm rolling in, but it looks like it missed us. Uh, looks like smooth sailing. Let's get it. See you back. Look at this dirty boy, guys. <laughs> What in the world? Literally bathing in poop. He says he's got a crown top down in there. Yeah. By golly. It's actually ready to come out on me. Here she comes. Oh, it has some balls. Oh, it's in balls. Oh, it's a yeah. Toco Co oh, from Baltimore. These dude, how about that? Blown in mold? Or Probably. Wait. Bring it's, it over here and clean it off because yeah. I ain't taking it from Trap. you. Trap. Here. Oh, you're not. <laughs> no, I'll follow you over. This is for sure one because Henry and I dug about the first two feet of this. This is right where we stopped where this was. So this is new. Nice, oh, man. Yeah. We got the sprinkler. We got the automatic the bottle wash system bottle set up. If I, can, if I can catch it. There we go. Look at that. Look at all that. That's how you do it right oh, there, guys. Come out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. comedy bottle, <laughs> Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, look how pretty that thing is. That. Dang, buddy. Let me hold it up in the sky. Yeah, I'm already getting it dirty. I'm gonna wash my gloves. Toco. Oh, gosh. Get, get out of here. Man. Come on. I'm wash my hands. Toco Bottling Company. Toco Co. Baltimore, it's Maryland. Out of, uh, it is blown in mold crown top. They were actually out of Hagerstown, but they had a Baltimore branch. And I've really? Been, I've dug like a couple of the Hager sounds. This is my first bolt. Uh, nice, second bolt. Brother. I guess it's worth playing in the mud. Oh. Slop. We're gonna pull out some more, guys. Stay tuned, baby. All right, guys. I'm down in the hole, trying to get. We're trying to get this water out. It don't seem like the water goes down too far. Yeah, we gotta start. But right maybe. there, where my foot is that center spot. Something green was showing itself, just the base. That's right near that soda. And I brushed it with my shovel, and it felt full. So. Yeah, just keep it right on that little center patch there. All right. I'm gonna put my gloves back on because there's a lot of glass, oyster shells, pieces of Crocs. Everything coming out is old. You guys just seen Will pull that incredible blown in mold soda. And so. that's about the newest thing we pull out of here. Check so. this out right here. You gotta be real careful with this water because you don't know what's under it. You can't just be shoveling things out. That's exactly right. So can you see that? Oh, see man. the top of it sticking out? Yeah. Oh, it feels really good. It's Whatever big it like is. soda. It's a med, I think. A med? Yeah, here it comes. Oh, oh it was man. an old fella. Early, look. Hinge Ooh, hinge mold. mold. Yeah. Hinge mold, cool. baby. Fella syrup oh, of hypophosphites. Uh, heck yeah. In the mud slot pole, yeah. And look, we're only about two feet down right oh, now. Oh, no. It's crazy. We got to get this water bucketed yeah. out and... Spend a little bit more time, but I think it's going to get early. Yes, sir. 1870s, 1880s. Let's get some more of that. Let's get it. All right, guys. Going right down the side, trying to find this wall over here. You can see it just an absolutely nasty. Don't spray over here, Trev. Nasty use layer. Only like two feet down, but out popped the bottle right there. Check it. There she is. Oh, nice. Look at that patina. The Rumfords. Beautiful Look at that Rumfords. patina, though. Yeah, Damn. blown in mold. Like a donut lip gorgeous probably 1890s yeah the patina on that is sick we're gonna have trav looks Jr. like a squat wipe, patina. wash it off 
Yeah, bottle's coming out, Russell. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Who would have thought the slop pit, number one of the week so far? You got to put in the work? Wow. See you back. Hey guys, what up? <laughs> you ready? I can't even see. Is it recording? Yeah, it's been. Check it out, guys. Still trying to find that wall. Bottle in the hole right there, baby. See what it is. Say, it smells horrible. Yeah. It does smell horrible. It is loaded full of use. I think it's a flask. Oh. oh I can see a strap broke. side on it. It's broke. Oh, is it just a, it's just a warranty it looks like this. Oof. Yeah, it was just a strap side. Probably 1890s though. Oh, okay, not hinged. No, not hinge. Ball. What is that behind you? Behind me. There's a big ball. Yeah, Whoa. I think it's Look a catapult. What? Right here. Right there. <laughs> Look. It is? Yeah. Oh, shoot. What, what the heck is, is that? that? <laughs> oh, no. What is it? <laughs> I don't know because it's wrapped in uh, twine, so it may have been a softball or something. Or could have been like a, sh like a weight for a fishing net or something. I mean, it's not real heavy. It was, it was a ball. Feel that thing. That's cool. Cool eye find. Oh, yeah. This looks like an old, old softball. Yeah, that's neat. All right, guys. Well, no full bottle no. on that one, but glass softball. still coming out. See you back. Yeah, we're back. Guys, I just knocked another bottle out trying to work down in that use. Look at there. Here she is. It won't let me zoom in. Blown in mold. Come on. Oh, the bottoms broke out of it. Dag nabbit. Yeah, it's a slick. Okay. Blown and mold slick though. So we do got some decent age coming out, but right another broken one. See you back. Guys, check it out. I just pulled a broken another top to a flask or mad and then big dog in the hole. It's a big man. square in the hole, baby. Yeah. You see that good? Yeah, I'm zooming in. Nice. I'm out two times right now. Look at there, look at there, William. It's big, though. It is big. Dang. Oh, it's big, man. It's huge, whatever it is. And, guys, we're only like three feet, two feet, something like that. Well, the bottle's not even two, like two feet. It's not even at the bottom. It is nasty, though. Yeah, what you guys can't hear, see or hear, or hear is the, uh, it smells. Oh. Is it? <laughs> is it embossed? I don't know yet, man. Either way, if, if that's a crazy bottle. I think it's going to be something really good. It's going up in there a decent ways. Are you at the bottom of it? Bottom what? The bottle. Don't something. fry it. Come on. No, I'm trying to break it root up. Yeah. It's right up behind it. It's under it. What is it? Big old whiskey. Maybe. Here it comes. It oh, is it is like, oh, that. man. Is it a, come on. Damn. Oh, no. Man. Blown. Yeah, blown in mold. Post mold? Nothing on the base. Yeah, bottom post mold, 1890s. We'll get that one cleaned up and show a better picture of it. But guys, but we're after. Yeah! It's lower too, for sure. See you back, baby. Check out this whiskey I just dug, guys. Trav Jr.'s finishing cleaning it up at the bottle station. Bring that over here, son. Let's see that bad boy. Man, that is nice. Can I see it? Ooh, look how purple it is already. Holy crap. Man, that thing is gorgeous. I gotta zoom out a little bit too far. There we go. Look how pretty that is, guys. Beautiful blown in mold square whiskey. Absolutely no markings anywhere on it. Probably 1890s to about 1905 period. Right under the ground, pretty much. In the slop hole, you can see Will in there bucketing water out. Look at that boy. We're down about four foot now, but Third bottle, third full bottle out of the hole. See you back.
All right. Guys, we're still working over trying to find the wall. Going down a little tiny bit trying to get some of this water bucketed out. And check it out. I got another little med uncovered. There's the lip of it going into the shoulder. So it's looking pretty good in there. Right in there underneath those oyster shells. I'm trying to zoom in, but my hands are dirty. <laughs> or shoe polish, maybe. I'm not sure what it is just yet. But... Hey, don't get that water over there. Why this way? That's why it's getting on the roof of the love shack. Oh. Right here it comes. There she is. Oh, one. this one may be embossed. It's got recessed panels on it. Oh, what? Oh, uh, what a jip. It's a slit. No, it ain't. <laughs> no. Embossed. It's a Larkin Company. Oh, that's a big size one. Larkin Company. Yeah, nice. Blown in mold, tool top. Post awesome. mold? Awesome. Yep, post mold. Nice. We can take that over and clean that up. If you want to follow Trav, yeah. Trav, to Trav the cleaning man. station, buddy. Oh. All right, so we got our own little cleaning station over here, otherwise known as the bird bath. Yeah, take the, uh, whatever those are the out of birds. there. The bird bath. Yeah, the fake birds, the real ones. All right, don't spray the... <laughs> See, it's coming out. Oh, I gotta stand back with this. I gotta. <laughs> All right, that's good enough to, sh to show. We'll get it cleaned up a little bit more later. But show the embossing. There you go, Larkin. You got a cut on his hand or something. We'll get it cleaned up a little bit more and show some cleanup picks. See you back. Wheels turned down in the hole, guys. So. I'm out here on the uh, bay, out on the dock. Trav's out on the kayak, having the time of his life right now. Look at that boy go. So peaceful out here. Check it out. Very serene. Another proud dad moment right there, guys. Look at that boy going out there on the kayak. Awesome, awesome. Love that little boy. See you back. Guys, look at all these fish swimming by right here. I'm going to put the camera down under the water and see what it looks like. I don't know what that looks like, but I'll watch the video back. Maybe you can see them. They're all over the place right here by the dock. Look over here, right here in the, in the sunlight, Trav. Can you see them? No. You can't see them from there? Oh, no. You see them all? Tomorrow, if we, if we stay here that long, tomorrow we're gonna get some fishing poles, come out here. Apparently blood worms is the thing to use and see what we can catch. I don't know, maybe this evening, son, we'll see. All right, guys, just playing around and then back to the privy action. All See right, guys, so after going out with Trav and uh, watching him go out on the kayak for a little bit, I'm taking my turn back in the privy hole. It's not real deep, but it is like eight feet wide. I mean, I, we're probably about the seven foot mark now, across anyway. It's only like three feet, three and a half feet deep. But check it out in the hole. Shoot, what do I do with my pick? It's, uh, I thought it's not up here before. I grabbed it. It's probably down the, I was gonna the water use, Is it right still there. sitting up there? No. It's I not. dropped it in that slop. <laughs> no, I didn't. I set it somewhere outside the hole. I think, anyway. It was up on the center block, but it's not anymore. Hold on one second, guys. I gotta find my pick. Right, I, I found my there. pick, guys. It's laying outside the hole, but it is nasty, muddy, slop, messy. And uh, right under here. You can see right there, got a pretty 
fancy uh, shaped bottle in the hole. So we're gonna try to get it live action for you. Digging left-handed. There's all kinds of oyster shells up in here. What do you think it's gonna be? Let me get up under here. Get these roots out of the way for you. Trying to figure out which way it's going. It might be a little ink or something. Let's get it. Here it is. It's a screw top. A little perfume bottle. That's your screw loop? Um, no. No? No. Smooth screw top. It's pretty though. It's got a gorgeous patina on it for being laying in that poop layer. We'll get that cleaned off and uh, show it to you here in a little bit, guys. But That's neat. I don't think it says anything on it, but dirty as can be it may have some something on it somewhere so you back in a break <clears throat> will's making me a vodka and orange juice and i uh, was just cleaning examining this after will cleaned it and look at the how purple that one is guys and what we both noticed is you can see it's clearly blown in mold but it's got a smooth lip that's crazy i don't understand that at all it's not machine made I don't know. I've never seen one like that. You guys comment down below, but obviously it's turning purple. So it's pre 1918 anyway. I don't know about that one. Maybe semi automatic and this piece was like stuck on after. I don't know how that works. That's cool though. Nice little perfume or some kind of salts maybe. And then show you guys this thing i just popped out i thought it was the world's largest marble when i first popped it out it, it's like a i don't know it's like a hard bake light ball or plastic even i'm not sure i think it's a lacrosse ball a lacrosse ball it would say they could have made 120 you know 19 i don't know you guys tell me what you think on that for a minute there i thought i was rich <laughs> <laughs> i thought it was a huge marble that thing's monster size. You know what they call a huge marble? And check this out. So here's another thing that came out earlier. It's probably almost the same thing underneath of that. I don't know. You tell me. We, get, we are getting some balls and we are getting some bottles. And Will's got his own bottle collection going on over there. Yeah, rolling rock. And Ooh, and that's looking good. All right, guys. Back in the pit. See you back. All right, guys. That one is done. Check it out. About three and a half feet deep, and it went almost eight feet across. Ended up being a wood liner. You can actually see right there one of the be wood beams still intact for the wall. Not a whole, whole lot. I mean, a crap ton of oyster shells. There were about 15 1930s condiment jars and stuff. And then... We did end up with a few bottles, but we're going to take a break, eat some pizza, fill this one, and then right here where I'm standing, we got an absolute ginormous stone liner probed out. I think it's stone and wood. I'm not sure, but we're going to mess with that one after we eat. See you guys back, back here today, taking a break from privies because William don't want to dig no privies for some reason, but so we're taking a break from privies and out here <clears throat> looking in the wood lines. I just kicked this out of the dirt right there. Check it out. I think it's like an ashtray, old ashtray. I like it, so I'm gonna keep it. Surface fine, baby. Gotta love them. There's a lot of like modern beers and stuff all in the ground. It's pretty neat back like here. But... Nothing else interesting like that. So we're gonna just keep looking around and see what we can find. Yeah, uh, so me and Will are still out walking the wood lines. We found this old either wagon trail or place where railroad used to be. I don't know, but there's like 15 tree stands, both modern and old, all along it. And we came to this spot where there was a lot of modern stuff. Then we started coming up on a little bit of earlier stuff. So Will started just scraping around the tree, and you can see. I think I got a little baking soda. Got bottles and maybe hole. another one could be a soda. Bottles in the hole. This one should be pretty ready. Yep. Machine made uh, Rumford. Machine made Rumfords. Nice. 
and that's probably what this is, but I don't like know. That was moving a little bit harder. I think it might be a soda. You might want to dig that one out a little bit, fella. Yeah. I think it's just caught up in roots. Yeah, it's like it's like that other dump we were digging. It's just just a thin layer like roots like carpet. Yeah. Yeah, it's another. It's another one. Another yep, Rumford. Rumford. Early machine made. Early machine made Rumfords. All right, yeah. so we're like 1915 era right now, guys. Just right there's on the surface. Some, you can see, little you can see like there. there's all kinds of stuff through here. Yeah, all these little mounds around these trees. We got to check. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna see what else is hiding in here. We're way see back that? here, following this wagon trail, and we think we came upon a little farm dump, old farm dump. You can see there's ball perfect masons. There's broken milks. Yeah, the farm dump. Look at them all sticking out of the ground. This is just sticking out of the ground all along here. Look at them. Milk bottles. Here's a uh, piece of glass like growed around the moss. It's like a 1930s. There's like a little toy thing right here. You know, is that a mushroom? Yeah, it's a mushroom. Toy mushroom. Toy yeah, mushroom. It's like a 1930s ball. Perfect. Okay. Clear. Some yeah, we're gonna have to just clear some leaves away and possibly dig some test holes. There's a lot of little mounds around here, and I'm feeling a lot of glass under my feet too. So, lots of broken milks. That's what I'm liking to see. They seem to be all in this little trench kind of area. Here's a jar right here. Jar. Nice. It's a little bit older. It's got a lip chip, unfortunately. You see with the uh, the underline? Yeah. And that, uh, that's like 20s, right? Early 20s. All right. Yeah, we're just going to mess around, guys, and see what else we can find. See you ah, back. Lucky William, son. <laughs> we're back out here. He found a uh, tree stump dump, he calls it. Right there, you see that? Looks like we got a crazy oh. old bottle in the hole, baby. And there's more all around this tree. He's my little small one. Yeah. I'm dig up. around this, it. This don't, try to pry on, don't try to pry on it. Yeah, let's get dig around up. it. Let's get these roots up. Dig Are around. Sure it's ready? Oh, it is ready. Oh, oh my God. Holy oh my crap, guys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, Will. <laughs> oh, my I'm going to keep it down a little bit. I'm trying to. Oh, my God. Wow. Boyd. Yes. Baltimore. That's incredible. That's like 1856. You start working on that. Maybe look 40s. at this crazy, crazy thing. Hold on, let me show this real quick. Yeah. Oh my oh. gosh, guys. Look at the color on that thing. Holy. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Will. That's incredible, brother. I, I that's got to be a bucket your top back. find ever. Yeah. I, I'd say that's like. And this 1840s, is this, 50s. This is a similar wood line where I found that other Cape Charles City, Virginia blob. This wood line is crazy. That's an that's We're not amazing giving this spot find. away anytime soon. That's an amazing find, guys. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That just made the whole video right there. Wow. I'm about to piss myself. All right, we're going to slowly, slowly work around we this tree. we got to go tree. back to the car and get the pick and stuff. See you back. All right, guys, we, we had to calm down for a minute. We just looked that up. That's over a thousand dollar bottle. And that was in 2018. Oh my gosh. We're trying to contain our excitement, but check it out, guys. Just right down here on the other side of the shelter. We got another bottle in the hole right there. I'm a handy camera to my buddy, Will. And I'm gonna pull that. Hold on, let me put this somewhere safe. Yeah. 
windshield where I didn't bring my gloves and nothing. Once you pull that root up, it should be ready to come out. It's just in that moss. I know, there's pretty, this pretty stuff strong great. stuff in it. Just make sure you, oh, it's good. I think you can probably pop it out now. I don't want to break now. Yeah, get those little roots. Around here, here, pull this back. There we go. Get a brick on top of it. Get that out of there. Oh, hopefully. Oh, it keeps going. Oh. Look, there's an. Oh, it's broke. Hopefully, that protected. The, oh, my gosh. Isn't there good? It's still going. It's yeah, a big man. dog. Let me try to get this. Be careful, though. It might be another one right up against I you. I am. I'm just trying to <laughs> barely, barely scrape. Just pull that carpet up. This could be something crazy too. I was thinking blob. It could be a squat or a really early. Oh, is that something? That's broke. Oh. It. What was it though? I don't know. I don't want to mess with it too much. Ooh. Pull it. Pull it out towards me. You know what you're doing. When you're in a dump like this, guys, you got to be <sighs> stupid careful. That's a blob. <sighs> Is it embossed? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's embossed. Oh, nice. What is it? Something the Sun. J.F. Wesner and Sons. Oh, it's uh, Baltimore. Brewing Company. I think that's a less common... Uh... Baltimore, Maryland, oh, yeah. heck yeah. That's an early one, too. Ball Look at that. It's got the Baltimore loop seal. I bet you that's the early 80s. Yeah, 80s, 90s. No, I think early 80s, like 81, 82. Look at that, man. And we're just getting started. <laughs> yes. Will had to talk me into it because I wanted to hit privies. Yeah. That's where it's at out here, man. Eater. He knows what he's talking about. Oh, man. Look at that, Will, right here, bro. Oh, you put it next to that. Look at that. Surface Literally pines. one minute of digging. <laughs> so we, so we know, and look at all the stuff sticking out. Yeah, you can see so we know crop pieces. Pit. There's more glass we next to this We know this pit because that one we looked it up is 1850s. So that's the one you just found. The, yeah. So 1850s to 1880s. We're looking at like a 30 year. It's like that dump, dump we were digging the that uh, squat soda and there it was is. stuff from like 1890. You think so? Yeah, yeah cuz if you guys can see I'll take you over here a little bit. You can see a little piece of metal sticking out over there. I think all all these mounds need to be opened up right here. Yes, for sure. Cuz the, the age of stuff in here we're gonna start Man. on the back part and just peel it all back like so i'm gonna hand the phone back to travis i gotta go back to the car and get supplied up we were just planning to walk around the woods and go back but oh my God. change of plans so see you back So guys, I'm waiting on my brother man Will to get back. I've literally just been taking my hands and peeling the carpet stuff back and you can see there's a bottle in the hole that's embossed. There's some kind of a goblet there. There's all kinds of stuff. Look at the ash down in there. Just pulled up a broken base. Look at that iron pawnal demijohn. on. The color on that thing is sick. Look at the color on that, guys. Almost like a citron green. Flask, broken flask, broken blobs coming up. A Colgate perfumer was right on the top under the tree. I think that's probably ground lip though. I'm gonna wait for Will to get back. I'm just gonna keep kind of peel this all back. And I think we're gonna be digging down in there and pulling some incredible stuff. See you back. Guys, Will just made it back from his three-hour tour. Yeah, swear these woods, these woods are like super, something supernatural is going on. You get turned around real easy. So we we had a little bird call going on. He finally, finally found me. Had to throw the GPS tracker on too. That helped him. But look, he said he found a couple bottles on the way yeah, back. Yeah, uh, this is a uh, Fred Bauer Schmidt. Oh, nice, a Bauer and Schmidt. Yeah, machine made. No, machine made. Oh, machine made. 1915 Pre Pro. 
And I got a milk. I haven't even looked what this is yet. I just you know. haven't. Oh, it's a, bl oh, it's a blank slug plate. Blank slug plate. Oh. That's all right, guys, because Will's back with the tools. I've been over here just using my bare hands and tearing up roots and trying to get this peeled back. Check this. Is that my only one? If that's my only one, we're going to have to share it. You didn't bring none from your car. You probably had some in your car. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think I was going to get lost. Here, well, you, yeah, you got this. We could share that, too. But anyway, check this out. I got a couple bottles that them popped out of the top. Look at this, guys. This is a Citron Green Iron Pondle Demijohn. Literally just popped out of the ground right beside that blob right there. I was waiting on Will to get here. And just hand digging so far. Haven't even put the shovel or pick or nothing. You can see there's another blob ready to come out of the ground. If Will wants to come over here and watch this. Right here. Let me turn you. It looks like it's... Sounds like it's getting ready to storm on us. But yeah, look at it. There's a goblet right there. Put my there's mouth some up kind of me. amber right there. Look right here. I think we got a blob in the hole. Another blob in the hole, baby. Yep. Yes, sir. Another blob in the hole. Is it the same one? No, that's... Yeah, Wesner. Oh, it is? Okay. J.I. Wesner. That one's got a little better strike on it. Yeah. Baltimore, Maryland. Another blob, guys. How about that? Right Last next to a demi. Trip. Look at the iron pawn of demi, John. Oh, it's like olive green. <laughs> oh, man. And look at the ash, guys. I mean, there's going to be some more glass down in here. So we're going to slowly, methodically pick it apart. See what all we can find. See back. All right, guys, crackhead Will went all the way back to the car. It took him three song. damn hours. <laughs> Forgot gloves and waters and all that, like a moron. So I got to go back again and get the stuff. But anyway, there's a blob in the hole right there. I just popped this out. I thought it was a broken top to a blob, but look at it. It's a... Oh, it's got something in there. What does that say? Let's see what that says, Will. Rustin's breast flower, breast flower, her, yeah, breast flower, R E, no, forest flower. Forest flower. It's a perfume bottle. Yeah, that's cool. Oh. Yeah, it's got a little lip dinger. That's a cool, that's a cool little weird Is it bottle. Pondle? Yeah. Because we've been pulling pondle stuff. Not quite. <laughs> no. Probably 80s. No, I mean, I say even 70s, honestly. 70s, yeah. 80s. Yeah. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull this blob right here, guys. I think it's ready. Full. Here it is. Boom, another blob. It's another Wisner. All right. Look at him. Wisners. We're getting a lot wiser than what we were, guys. There's were three really of them. <laughs> There's three. That don't mean nothing. Yeah, I know. There's three it's of them, though. Three Wisners and a freaking Boyd 1850s <sighs> torpedo, man. What in the world, guys? Uh, 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 uh. And I'm peeling all this back. You can see glass still going. Oh, what's that? Oh, that was a piece of a crock. Can you show me that brown, like, there's a brown Demijohn piece? There's, there's a old brick, pumpkin brick and stuff, and it's still going down in there. Yeah, we've, pulled, we've been pulling, like, broken Demijohns. Look at the widow on that one. Shoes. Old meds. There was another beer, blob, all blobs. There was a freaking green one, dark green Pink one. Iron too. Whew. This goblet right here is absolutely beautiful and purple. Guys. This blob piece. Yep. There's going to be a lot more right here. but Baltimore Brewing Company. All right, I'm going to make a little trip back to the car. I'll be right back. All right, guys, finally made it back to Williamson and been using the pick. You can see the shard pile is growing. 
We got four over there laying, five over there laying. And right here, I'm pretty sure I have a amber blob in the hole right there. Here, you want to hold this? It does look like it keeps going down. There's glass still going, guys. Glass still going down. We're just tearing the like carpet back, almost like carpet, yeah, literally. around this tree. And there's definitely a dump. You can see all the ash and stuff. There's bricks down there. You can see the embossing on it already. We're slowly just pulling the roots out and the bricks and stuff. Looks like it's almost ready to pull out. Oh, it's a, it's a crown top. It's blown, I bet. Oh, yeah, it's blown. Pull it up. It's a GBS. Oh, it's a blown GBS? Uh huh. Nice. Blown and mold. And the rare, rare, rare color, too. GBS. That's nice. Amber. Yeah, guys, there's just a big mixture in here. It is so humid. I think it's going to storm on yeah, us shortly. Yeah, I hope it does. <laughs> yeah, we kind of hope it does, but yeah. More of that, please. See you back. All right, guys, we're just working our way around the tree. You can see we popped out a horseshoe. Oh, yeah, check this crier out, guys. I mean, we pulled some incredible bottles today, but, Never man, look that. at that. That was a paneled, paneled amber blob from Baltimore. It says, Burger, Burger, B-E-R-G-E-R, -E -E The Burger Brewing Company. And then, so we're just working our way slowly around the tree. Something like little pieces coming out. We got out a med over. and a, it looks like a broken poison or something in or the hole. some weird, some really crazy, uh... You gotta be careful. There might be something right up against I told you, you, neither one of them was ready yet. Not even close. That's a pretty big med. Oh, there's, that's what's keeping them in this, whatever this is. Yeah, yeah. there's all kinds of glass 58 throughout. mason jar. Mm-hmm. What in the world, Will? Guys, we're gonna have to put Will and time out. Oh, there's something else right there. He's making some bad okay. mistakes. Uh, this, whatever this is, is broken. Yeah. It's like a flask or something. And there's something else right next to it. Oh, That's broken too. too. This is what's blocking it in now. Yeah. Hopefully it's full. Well, I felt that, something yeah, else down there. There's more down there for sure. There's a brick. You can already tell what that is. Don't don't pull it up like that. We'll uncover it. Something. Oh, like That's a like an amelware or something. You might be able to wiggle that back no. out of there. I gotta get this side. <clears throat> there. Oh, no, something's catching catching it on the bottom. That was me scraping against the enamelware, not the uh yeah, I know it was. I'm just telling the viewers. <laughs> Oh, well, they'll know if you pull it out broken that you did it. If you don't, you did good. Here's the roots all over the place. Oh, there, there it comes. Oh, it's in ball? Yep. Woodbury. Uh, LM yeah. Green. Yeah, it's a really early one, though. Look yeah. at that. All its stretch marks. Hinge mold. Hinge mold, yeah. Yes, sir. Nice. 70s, 80s. Yeah. LM Green proprietors. Oh. LM Green proprietors. This was just like a, like a cough remedy or? Yeah. Go ahead and pull that blue one out and see what it is. If you can get it. It's, that's like got a big old root running. I tried to tell you that. You said, oh, it's ready to go. <laughs> it's broken, so I mean, yeah. you probably pull something out. I kind of want to see if it has embossing on it though. It would have been nice looking. I don't know where the other piece is. We're thinking this is oh, privy dead, that. guys. <laughs> It's that's why it's broken. This is a big old root right oh, up behind the root it. Root grew right there. There it goes. There it is. No, it's no just, it just, just a big just old a big slick chemical med or something. Big cobalt chemical. Yeah. All right. And an LM Green proprietor. Three blobs, a torpedo, and a blown and mold crown. Pieces coming in. Heck yeah, guys. Keep working at it. See you back. All right, guys. 
Looks like Will's got a jar in the hole right looks, here. Looks good so far. It actually, I think it's a jar. Yeah, it's pretty, anyway. much, pretty much ready to be pulled out in the back. Look at that. Oh, no. I think it's a... Oh, oh wow. It's a big med. A slick, but... It's uh, a Dr. SBH. Yeah. Herb what, bitters. What errors were these? Blown? They got all the way to applied top. That one's like 80s, 90s. It's all this brown. Yeah, Dr. SBH. That's just burn. Hmm. Where it was laying down in that barrel. Where thing. does it say bitters on the bottom? Nope. You just have to know. Yep. Cool. You just gotta know. There it is. Herb bitters. My first one of these actually. Yeah, they're very common, but yeah, cool find. I kind of assumed, but that's my first bitters actually. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, hopefully we find one that actually says bitters. This is. Yeah. This is incredible, guys. We moved about two feet. So you All right, guys. We are still working around this tree, pulling up roots, working down in this ash, and look here. Another amber bottle in the hole. There it is. Yeah, it's another one. Blown? Yep. Yes. Another blown and mold crown top it GBS. Like GBS came out of it. Yeah, it did. <laughs> Some GBS right there. This one's a lot lighter. Look how light that one is. Pretty. That is pretty. Nice. All right. Well, we're going to keep working. See if anything else is in here. See you back. All right, guys, we're just working our way down, down around the tree. We're about halfway around the tree now. And I think we got one of those crazy star. I don't know what that is. I think it's the, one of those Baltimore Brewery. Um, Maybe. There's another root running up yeah, right here. You probably should take out. I don't know, I'll give it to you. It's right here above it. No, there's a root like right where the next star is. There's something thing. metal right here. Can you get that? out of the way anyway. Let's pull up there's like a root underneath. Damn. Is it metal? It is, but there's this root or a rock. But I, I don't think know what that is. Like a ring growing through the like a ring growing there, there, through there's the something thing. A root down here this yeah, there's a lot of roots this way. <laughs> I think you might be able to root yeah. central. Right. Pull that up. I think you can it's pretty close. much yeah, it's ready. No, it's a crown oh, top. Dang. It <laughs> is a crown a top, guys. It says the Maryland Brewing Company. The Maryland. Registered Globe Brewery Branch. Ooh, that's really low. Look at the stretch marks. Uh-huh. Blown Early and mold crown. crown top. Again. Blown and mold crown tops are coming out right now, guys. Can't nice. <laughs> We'll take it. I don't know how much more we're going to find, but we're going to try. See you back. Guys, Will's turn again. Right up against the base of the tree. He's leaning that. up against. Look at that. It's ready to come out. Get some of these roots out. Yeah, there's sure, one right there. Sure. Actually, it might be easier to take it out from the bottom. Yep. There she comes, guys. There's the root. Here it goes. What's that? Don't one? tell me. Slick. What? <laughs> For real? Yeah. Oh. What? The? It looks like. That's not even possible. It looks turn mold. That can't be possible. Uh, no, it's got mold line. It can't yeah, see turn mold. Don't have mold line. Yeah. It's something on the base. What's that? SB and GCO. What is that? I forgot. I know it's a glass maker, obviously. All right. Uh, SB and GCO, guys. Comment down below if you know which one that is. I wonder where this black stuff is was where the label was. I think it was just in some burn. Yeah. Thankfully, they didn't burn it too hot. No. All right, well, hopefully some more stuff's coming out. See you back.
all right guys check this absolutely insane tree stump dump dig we just had for about the last three and a half four hours we ended up with one two three four blobs one two three four blown and mold crown tops a sbh bitters two of these weird condiments a colgate perfumer a rumford's uh, ground lip too but the star of the show is right there. 1850s Boyd Torpedo Soda from Baltimore. And the color of that thing is just nuts. Just nuts. What a great find, brother. I'm just. Will, surface find man right here, well, guys. That was sticking out. Well, you saw, you'll yeah, see the just, video, yep. but there's no mistaking what that was. I just. <laughs> told travis get over here right now he started sprinting through the woods <laughs> and my my god what a day yep one of the one of the best digging days i've had i've seen that's the that's the best soda bottle i've ever seen come out of the ground so this was for sure a soda not a beer or... that's a beer well it's a mineral water oh okay 1850s mineral water incredible i'm gonna get a thumbnail of will holding that thing this i'm gonna have to wait dirty to will and the torpedo well <laughs> i guess i guess i'll have to get it cleaned up tomorrow for the uh cleanup fix sunday today's friday well sunday i'm gonna be driving home probably That's okay well yeah you got to get me pictures of it or you can't have it cold water very little yeah I'm not gonna be cold water no lukewarm temp, water not hot. room temp yeah all right guys well like a baby. we're gonna pack this up we got about a quarter mile hike out of the woods to try to find the vehicle we're gonna get everything wrapped up real nice and we're gonna get out of here what a great great week awesome awesome ending oh my gosh we've dug oh, some moon. crazy crazy <laughs> stuff this week some unexpected finds and wow there it is right there guys that's what it's all about hope you enjoyed Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Hold that bad boy up. See you next time, guys. Oh, still racing. <laughs> Move your hand off the front of yeah. it. See you next time, guys. Woo, dog. All right, guys, after just an absolutely amazing dig today, I'm out here on the water for the evening, cleaning up some trash with my son, Trav. You can see from the storm and stuff, there's plastic water bottles, and there's stuff all washed up over there. We're going to just go around and clean up, me and Trav, but he comes up on here, water bottle. so peaceful out here absolutely awesome place to be we'll probably be heading out of here in the morning go home and get ready for uh tomorrow night's auction Can't get it, Chad, boy. It's very difficult. Very difficult to do anyway with the K up filming. <laughs> Come get it, buddy.
such an awesome time up here. Let's see if you can get it. Look at that boy. Natural. <laughs> Scoop and go. Nice, Trav. All right, we're just going to play around out here, clean up a little bit, spend some time, father son time. See you back. Check this out, guys. It's one of them big, giant, they call it a uh, fish eagle. Can't remember what they're called, but check it out. They make their nest out on these buoys and stuff. Me and Trav Jr. are out here way out now past where the main, main boats and stuff go. I was hoping to see one of these bad boys catch a fish, but way up there too, there's one. Look at him. Let's see if he comes down. Let's see if he can grab a fish. Okay. Yeah, he's searching over there. This guy over here is just chilling up on the post. Waiting for an easy meal to come by. We're gonna go over to that big giant building over there and see what it is. See you back.